Hello YouTube and Facebook followers. This is Half Man, Half Cichlid. I wanted to give you an update on my Amazon Biotope Aquarium. I call this an Amazon Biotope, even though I have some uh, uh, Congo Tetras and uh, uh, barbs from Southeast Asia. But anyway, the tank's built around what appears to be an uh, Amazon uh, scene with driftwood, angelfish, and uh, thread-thin acaras. Uh, if you want, if you remember, I had reported this tank was uh, maintaining zero nitrates, and uh, primarily due to the water lettuce. And you can see the water lettuce up on top. Uh, and this is just after, just after I uh, cleaned the water lettuce out. And if you remember. In addition to having the water lettuce and about one third of the aquarium surface, I, or, I also have a uh, a filter, a large hang-on back filter, in which uh, I grow water lettuce under a uh, a uh, LED uh, grow light. So there's a you know a lot of plant growth, a lot of biomass production. And I think the important thing to uh, consider when you're going to use aquaponics to uh, clarify your water is coming up with a system where significant amounts of biomass are produced, whether it's algae, whether it's plants. And what I mean by biomass is you, know, you can actually see and hold and, and you're producing large quantities of plant or algae matter that is, uh, in essence, removing nitrates and other harmful substances uh, from your water. So I, I'll show you briefly in the next in a slide uh, how much uh, biomass I was able to remove from the system after about uh, three or four weeks. First of all, here's that uh, hang on back that I referred to, which originally was a algae scrubber, but uh, I did not find a lot of production of algae, a lot of biomass. So I convert it to what I call an aquaponic nitrate scrubber, and I use water lettuce in this uh, setup uh, too. Now by comparison, this is the biomass, the, the, which is the quantity of water lettuce that was produced at, on the surface of my 200 gallon aquarium over just a little bit more than uh, three weeks. You can see, and I, I didn't weigh it, but it's a tremendous amount of biomass. You can imagine the nitrates and other fish waste that went into producing this quantity of plant. So th this is uh, why I'm able to achieve in a relatively heavily populated aquarium, uh, zero nitrates. And by the way, the fish just love the plant uh, also very easy to maintain and remove when it gets overwhelming. Hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for viewing.